Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today because there is some very interesting price action going on right now in the price of Bitcoin after we cleared this level of resistance, which I will get to in a second here. First of all, in my video a couple of days ago, I mentioned this bull flag pattern that broke out to the upside and I said the price target for this was roughly 67K. And now looking at it today, you can see we pretty much exactly hit that price target. Now, before I forget, recently I asked you guys if you're interested in a free trading course and 98% of you said yes. So if you are interested in getting access to that trading course for free, then you should click the second link in the description of today's video. And once you get on this page, you simply click on join for free right here and then you will get access to the trading course for beginners as soon as I launch the first videos. So now that we have reached this price target, what is next for the price of Bitcoin? Well, as you can see, we cleared above this big level of resistance from about 65.5K up to 66,000 US dollars. However, in the short term, there are a few smaller levels of resistance that we need to clear through before we reach the next big level of resistance. So first of all, we have a small level at about 66.8K and then above that at 67.9K. However, once we clear these two levels of resistance, the next big level of resistance is above that at about 68.5K, all the way up to 70,000 US dollars for the price of Bitcoin. Now, zooming out a little bit to the four hour time frame, you can see this massive triangle pattern that I have been talking about for a couple of weeks here. And in fact, once we broke down from this upward sloping trend line, I told you guys that the confirmed price target that is associated with this breakout to the downside was about 58,000 US dollars. Now, pretty soon after that, we actually got close to that price target three times. However, we did not fully end up completing this price target. And right now in the short term, it looks like the pattern is about to be invalidated, which is a very good thing for the price of Bitcoin, because as soon as we trade above this white line right here, well, in that case, we can cross off this price target and it is no longer active. But until then, we do just have to keep this in mind as an active price target. However, like I said, it's about to be invalidated. Now, another thing I quickly want to show you guys on the Bitcoin chart is this ascending line of support, because so far, every time we touched it, we got a pretty decent bounce from this level and it has just been supporting us in this move to the upside. However, if we break this to the downside, it could definitely be a warning signal that the price might be trading lower back into this level of support again, which is sitting from about 62,000 all the way down to 60,000 US dollars for the price of Bitcoin. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps on the one week time frame, you can see that we took out this big pocket of liquidity to the upside at about 65.9K, exactly like I mentioned in my last video, because just like I said then, typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there's most liquidity on this chart. And in fact, most of the liquidity was to the upside and therefore that's where the price got attracted to. So now zooming out to the one month time frame, what can we expect next based off of these Bitcoin liquidation heat maps? Well, as you can see on the far right side here, it is very clear that most of the liquidity is in fact to the upside right now with about $900 million worth of people that are shorting the Bitcoin price that will get liquidated at about 71.8K. But even above that, there's even more liquidity of about a billion dollars with a lot of shorts that will get liquidated at about 73,000 US dollars in the price of Bitcoin. And like I have been saying for weeks, even when we were trading all the way down here, I do think that since we are in a bull run, eventually we're going to take out this liquidity at 73.1K. So the 73.1K level would be about here in the Bitcoin chart, meaning that we wouldn't have fully cleared this all time high here just yet. So in the case that we do see us trade up to this price target, I would definitely want to see the price go above this all time high at about 73.8K before I'm saying like, yeah, we're blasting off to the upside, entering into price discovery. Now taking a look at Ethereum on the one day time frame. First, you can see that we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level. And after we lost support at the 0.618 Fibonacci level, we then found some support at the 0.5 Fibonacci level, all the way down at 2860 for the price of Ethereum. However, right now, after finding some support, we are now potentially trading back to the upside. So now let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels for Ethereum. 
So zooming in on the four hour time frame for Ethereum, you can see that we got pretty lucky here with this small ascending triangle pattern because it did not get fully invalidated as we did just reverse back to the upside just before going below the point of the breakout. So technically this price target is still active for the price of Ethereum at about 33.30. However, what we must keep in mind before getting too excited is this level of resistance that the price is currently trading in, which is a level from about 31.50 all the way up to 32.50 for the price of Ethereum. And above that level of resistance, we do have the 0.618 Fibonacci level, which will also act as another level of resistance for Ethereum. So in the case that we do get rejected and invalidate the ascending triangle pattern, well, then the next level of support below that is from about 3000 all the way down to 2850. Now taking a look at Solana on the daily time frame, you can see that after we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level, we then traded to the downside and lost support at the 0.618 Fibonacci level. And in fact, we saw some crazy candles right here on the daily chart, but eventually held support at the 0.5 Fibonacci level and then started trading back to the upside. So as of right now, it looks like this candle all the way down to $115 for the price of Solana was the opportunity of a lifetime to, to buy this dip for Solana. But the price didn't stay there for long. So I'm curious to see how many people were actually able to snipe a price that low. Do let me know in the comments if you were able to snipe some Solana below $140 right here. So now taking a look at the support and resistance levels for Solana in the short term, you can see that we actually broke this downward sloping trend line to the upside. And we have therefore now also flipped this previous level of resistance into support for Solana. And this new level of support is now from $150 all the way down to $140. And after clearing this next level of resistance for Solana at about $154, and yes, even though we are currently trading above it, it hasn't been a confirmed candle close. So therefore it hasn't technically cleared this level yet. However, once it does clear that level, then the next big level of resistance for Solana is all the way at $166 all the way up to $171. So this could definitely be an interesting long position because this move right here is already 7% all the way up to 11%. However, of course you must keep in mind what Bitcoin is doing in the short term, because if you see Bitcoin breaking this trend line to the downside or just meeting a big level of resistance, then it would be pretty risky to go long on Solana. However, this is of course not financial advice. I'm simply telling you what I see in the charts and you can do with that information what you like. Now, if you are interested in joining a crypto community, regardless of if you are a beginner or advanced trader, I recommend you join my Discord server for free with the first link in the description of this video. It's a really chill community. I think you're really going to enjoy it. And of course you can leave at any time. Thank you for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.